Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again, where we count down the 10 hottest Magic cards of the week. As always, we look at two pieces of criteria as we select our cards. The first is percentage increases, and the second is an actual increase in sales, not just asking price. That way we'll filter out some of the market manipulation that is out there. Quickly before we get into it though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, they do have a lot of items in stock on their website. They have Zendikar Rising, Commander Legends, a lot of singles, various other things as well. And for example, if you want to pick up a Commander Legends draft booster box, when you use the Heroes promo code, it goes down to $120. That does include shipping in the United States as well. Plus, whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Dosin the Falling Leaf. This goes up $1.50 to $8.84 for a 20% increase. The reason it's moving this much right now, though, is because of a new Commander Legends card. You'll find this card in a lot of Commander builds around your lock of Scorched Thrash. In fact, this is not the last time we're going to mention your lock in this video. Number 9 is Krovax the Cursed, up $1.77 to $11.39. That is an 18% increase. This is on the reserve list. It does see a little commander play, but honestly, not all that much. The reason it's moving right now is because it is a reserve list card. We have seen some players prioritizing certain reserve list cards recently because there have been a lot of jumps in price when it comes to a number of these cards. In some cases, they were targeted buyouts. In some cases, they started to move up a little more naturally. But regardless of the reason, it does have a lot of people thinking about cards that maybe they had on the back burner for a while. Number eight is Tectonic Instability. This goes up to 78 to 550. That is a 102% increase this week. And this is another card that you'll find in your lock of Scorched Thrash Commander builds. Number seven is Mirror Gallery. This gets hot again, going up 310 this week to 2274. That's a 16% increase. And this is another card moving because of a Commander Legends card. That card is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, and this is seeing play with various partner commanders currently in the format, both new and old, but many of these builds are running Mirror Gallery. Number six is Title Control, up 315 to 725. That's a 77% increase. This card is on the reserve list, but there is a reason that some Commander players may actually want to pick this one up. Currently in Commander, there are a lot of strong builds that have green and red as core colors. Decks like Omnith Locus of Creation, Obun Moldai Ancestor, and now we even have your Lock of Scorch Thrash running around. So all of a sudden, this card becomes a little more desirable. Number five, another card moving because of your Lock of Scorch Thrash. You'll find this one in a lot of those Commander builds. It is over abundance. It goes up 329 this week to 1019 for a 48% increase. Number four is Cleansing. This goes up 792 to 1997 for a 66% increase. This is on the reserve list, and even though it does see a little commander play, again, we have a card that's moving mostly because it is a reserve list card. This is quite a jump, though. This card has been hot for a while, so maybe it is just drying up in the online marketplace a little bit, or this could be the beginning of a buyout. And number three, same story here with Goblin Wizard. In fact, it's from the same set, The Dark. It's on the reserve list. Although I will say this card does see a little more commander play than the previous one. You will find this sometimes in various goblin builds. This goes up 975 this week to 7123. That is a 16% increase. Number two is Aladomri's Vineyard. This goes up 1660 this week to 2149. That's a 340% increase if you're doing the math at home. And this has been a very solid group hug card in commander for a while. But again, this is moving because of commander legends. In particular, again, you're going to find this in your lock of Scorch Thrash builds, and to a lesser degree, it's also getting maybe a little push by this card here, Belby Corrupted Observer. And number one is Cedrus the Traitor King. This goes up $20.34 to $24.89, and that is a 447% increase this week. And yes, this again is a card that is seeing more play in Commander because of a Commander Legends card. This time, that card is Obeka Brute Chronologist. All right, that does it for this week's top 10 list. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these cards in your collection or maybe if you're planning on picking any of them up. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. 
Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.